In this tutorial we'll be creating this twisting 3D logo animation within After Effects using Element 3D. It's quite easy, so let's get into it. Let's start off with creating our composition and add a solid here for the background and duplicate this one and call this element. Let's create a camera as well and let's drop the logo into the composition. Let me scale this down like so and I'm going to pre-compose it, move all attributes. Now let's select it layer, auto trace, current frame and alpha channel since my logo is on a transparent background. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and hide this and drop this here. Add element to our element layer and under costume layers, text and mask, let's add the logo here and in the texture maps as well to keep the colors. Let's go into scene setup and extrude it. Scale this down a bit. And maybe let's go into the bevel one here and extrude this to two. Also bevel the back sides. Let's go into our diffuse channel here and choose the texture we just added to the costume layers. And it should look strange like so. And to fix this, you click on use layers as UV. Cool, now a common problem is you see those black edges around our logo because we use the transparent texture. Uh, now to fix this, in some logos you can go ahead and decrease the expand edges here and that might clear it up. But as you can see, my logo has some sharp edges and it creates strange looking artifacts, which I don't like. So I'm going to show you a technique I used for quite some time now to fix this. Let's go into our logo composition here. And in this case we have a gradient, so I'm going to be creating a gradient with the same colors. Drop this underneath and let me take these two colors and try to match it as close as possible. It doesn't really matter how accurate you are. This should be enough. Let's go back into our element here. And as you can see, that issue is fixed. Let's hit OK. And let's start animating this. Let's close this down and go into group one and set a keyframe for the position Z and rotation Y. Hit U to bring these up and let's move them around here. Now let's set the Y rotation to one evolution and the Z, we're gonna drag it out of frame. And this is what we've got. Now let's go ahead and add the twist. So inside of particle look, if you go here, you've got something named deformed and it has a bunch of settings you can play with. Let's select twist and enable it. Now if we play with the Y here, you can see we're twisting our logo. You can twist it any direction. Z looks kind of cool for this logo, but we're gonna animate the Y. So let's select the stopwatch and make a keyframe. We want this to be at the end and let's twist this about 90 degrees and drag this here. Let's go ahead and select these keyframes and hit F9. Go into our graph and do something you like, like so. So this is basically how to twist the logo inside of Element 3D. As you can see, it's quite easy. Now let's go ahead and create a composition that you've seen at the beginning of the video. So let's drop a gradient to our background here. Swap the colors and create a radial ramp. Move this here and move this way down. This is a pretty corporate type of looking intro. Let's go into our element. And here I want to create a solid. Scale this up. And let's drop it outside of the group folder and set it to group two. Hit OK. Let's drag it down here under group two. OK, let's go back to our element. And under plane model here, go into the texture of it. And all we want to do here is select matte shadow, which basically gets rid of it visually, but it's still there to receive any shadows. So if we go into render settings here, enable embed occlusion, let's set this to like five. You can see we're getting a slight shadow here. Let's increase this to maybe eight. As you can see, it gets a bit grainy here. So an easy fix here is up the samples. So maybe 16 and the multi sampling to one. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and add a light. If you want, you can cast shadows as well. I'm going to go without and drag this out like so. And I also always like to add one of the presets under light here. Let's go dramatic. And the final touch here is obviously motion blur to make everything look nicely. All right, this is how you create this type of logo animation. As you can see, it didn't take too long. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.